Good morning, everyone. Let's have some coffee together. It's a beautiful morning outside. It's cool. There's some cloud coverage. I see some clouds rolling in. So, if you hear spice go off, it's because the cats are roaming. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful morning. So this is a holiday weekend here in the United States. So you guys, if you're from the United States, tell me what you're doing this weekend. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to use my indoor um, grill and grill me up some things. Okay? I think that's what I'm going to do for myself. Um, my family members have things going on in their own individual family, so I'm good to go. Okay? Oh, I love sitting out here in the morning and listening to the birds and watching the cats and um, yeah, I love doing that. So I'm going to sit out here and enjoy the morning and I'll catch you in the, in the kitchen probably later. Good morning everyone. It is still morning technically. Almost noon. It is 11.43. <laughs> but we're going to get in here and we are going to... Um, this is going to be the first time that I make this. But one of my favorite things um, is hummus. I love hummus. And so we are going to start with... I got these from the food bank. These are garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And I need three cups of them drained from a can. Okay. And so we're going to drain two cans of them and we're going to hope that that's three cups. Okay. That was um, part of the label off of the can. So I use my electric can opener and my electric can opener. Um, it cuts the top off, not, it cuts along the edge here, okay? And so, I gotta be careful with these cans, okay? So, we're going to drain them. And it does, the, I'm gonna follow the recipe to the T, okay? because I've never made this before. And it does say rinse them off from the juice, from the, um, the broth from the chickpeas. And then, drain them. Let's see, I'm gonna pull this in. This is a pot I'm gonna use. I need three cups of it. And it does say, one, two, this is two cans is three cups. I wanted to make sure before I proceed. The sink is clean. I just cleaned it right before. So yeah, two cans is pretty darn close to three cups. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of this in there. And then it says put water on it. Put it on the stove. Bring it up to 
jogo, voyão. And let it boil for a while, even though it's already cooked chickpeas. So I will show you. Hold on. Let me get over here. I only have one camera, so there we go. So we are going to put it on to boil. and let it boil for let me look at the recipe okay so if using canned chickpeas make sure they are drained and rinsed it helps if you also give them a quick 20 minute simmer in a bit of water so they so they are soft softened so they soften well and then dry them. So, once they come up to a boil, we'll let them simmer for 20 minutes. Because you want these chickpeas really soft for this recipe. Hey everyone, we're back. We have been simmering this uh, garbanzo bean for 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn it off. That's hot, so give me a minute. Let me get a hot pad. And I'm gonna back you up over to my sink over here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take these garbanzo beans We're going to drain them a second time. We're going to turn cold water on them, cool them down. They're cooling down pretty quick. make sure yeah you guys can see both sinks okay I'm gonna take this bowl and put it over here and what it's supposed to do is with a little water you take the garbanzo beans and you rub them in between your hands and get and peel them. That's what you're doing. You're taking the skin off of the beans. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'll go through this one by one and peel the beans. Okay? And I'll come back to you. Okay? to bring you in and show you that I went ahead and shelled every one of those garbanzo beans. This is the shells and over here are the beans. This is labor intensive but we're going to see how the recipe comes out in the end. I'm going to stop and eat lunch right now and I'm going to have my potatoes and cream peas here. I'm going to have a chicken salad sandwich and a uh, cucumber tomato salad for lunch today. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, we're gonna finish up this hummus this morning. I just stuck everything in the refrigerator yesterday because um, I was tired, so I needed to take a break. So we're gonna finish up this hummus. And I'm following the recipe. <clears throat> And the recipe says to put the chickpeas into your food processor along with two cloves of garlic chopped. 
I am going to use my already chopped garlic, okay, and a little bit of the juice from the garlic, and I'm going to put two teaspoons in, okay, and you put this away. calls for, I think it said three or four cubes of ice. I have these small bits of ice. And so I'm going to get these out. I'm going to get my readers on. And it says, um, three to four cubes of ice. One third cup of tahini paste, I got it out. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt. It says kosher salt, but I'm gonna use the salt that I have. Half a teaspoon. and juice of one lemon I have these lemon cubes up here and so I am going to And what else is there in this? Hmm. It says get a little hot water just in case you need it. So let me do that. Lemon juice is dissolved. So now I'm going to clear that, put that in for a minute. And the hot water is just in case you need it. Okay. So it'll be ready. So now I got all the things put together that I need. Okay. So it says to start with. Just those two ingredients in the food processor and
It says you wanted a powder-like consistency. Okay, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need this to scrape it down back there. Hot water is ready just in case I need it. Uh oh. All right. It's not yet at a powder like consistency, but I'm going to continue to work with it. like consistency While processor is running, add ice cubes. All right. this down and we're looking for a smooth texture and it hasn't gotten there yet so this is where the instructions say add the hot water if you need it one thing I am going to do clean out the tahini from the cup okay, and get it in there take all these items that I no longer need put them in the sink ice in the refrigerator in the freezer Get that put away before it starts melting and becomes one big clump
bring you back when I get it to the consistency I need. Hey everyone, I'm bringing you back. It has turned out really nice and smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just a little, this is extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just going to pour a little bit over the top of it. And then open it up because it's the first time I've ever used this spice before. It's ground sumac. And I bought it specific for this recipe. Okay. And it says sprinkle, sprinkle this on top of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how. This is pretty powerful. So, there we go. I'm going to have to put that into a jar. And there we have the hummus. All right. Now, I am going to get out. Some of my vegetables from the other day. A couple of carrots. I'm going to do a couple of carrots. We're going to give this a try. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. I am definitely going to enjoy this for sure. Mm -mm -mm. It tastes better cold. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And just like that, I have made my own hummus. This lid doesn't fit this. I've made my own hummus at home using chickpeas from the food bank and some things that are already I already had at home. Okay. I did pick up few ingredients for it. Such as the ground sumac and the tahini sauce. But buying my own ingredients was way cheaper than buying hummus at the store. And I could make tons of it. So, this was a win. I want to thank you guys for coming along. And remind you that I'm going to leave you some playlists to make it really easy for you to watch my older videos. If you enjoy what you're... If you enjoy the videos that I'm making, please go back and watch the older ones. Every little bit helps. Comment on them. Let me know what you're thinking. And, um, and I'll see you on the next video.